Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, uh, do feel welcome. On today's video, as you can see, I am tackling uh, cleaning up our wooden fence and I will also give in, be giving it a new fresh uh, paint. Um, it's always a good idea to paint your fence uh, especially the wooden fence it needs a lot of care and uh, that involves at least painting it once uh, or twice every uh, two years so that uh, you will give it a longer life and it will serve you uh, better uh, this fence is a DIY that my husband did and it's the same kind of fence that it is also at the back of the garden where uh, we have divided the living area and uh, the utility area so um, I hope you're going to enjoy this one
uh, on the fence I am just using the same uh, kind of paint that was there before um, and on this occasion I will be painting it uh, twice uh, the first coat I just put it um, sometime in the morning and then I let it dry uh, do remember uh, when you are choosing the day to paint your fence uh, choose a day where when the weather is not too hot because you do not want to be out in the hot sun doing some tedious manual work like painting um, and you also need to do it in two phases you need to do uh, the first coat and let it uh, stay out and dry out completely before you do another coat that way you ensure that it's the paint stays quite long and does not start peeling off especially during all the rough weathers uh, during the winter and wet springtime Uh, by the way, all uh, the wooden structure in our garden, uh, be it the fencing and the arches and the decking are all uh, made from recycled material, which my husband got from his place of work. So um, if you're doing some constructions of project, always look for a way to uh, do your DIY if you, it's possible to get uh, materials which are recycled uh, recyclable is, is even better because in that way you are saving the planet and uh, you are reusing things which would otherwise land in a dumping ground or um, unnecessarily just uh, being uh, disposed of so uh, it's always a good way to use uh, material that is available and uh, it's at your disposal to just uh, do some DIY projects and make your garden or even your home uh, look better. So as you can see, uh, this is the other fencing uh, which is attached to the arch uh, which divides the garden area uh, plus uh, the section where we have the clotheslines and a little bit of um, storage and where the bins are uh, hidden away so they are not are uh, standing out and um, are visible so um, even when you're looking for garden ideas uh, at some point I will be able to show you um, the tour of our back garden and uh, in that way you can have ideas of how you can also um, section out your garden so that you have different areas sitting areas dining areas and uh, other areas uh, for utility and uh, 
yeah, I think uh, my husband has done well. Uh, even though everything that, as you can see, it's all DIY and it's all uh, done from recycled material.
uh, after a hard day of uh, painting you can see the effects of uh, the paint uh, it is looking lovely it is looking um, <clears throat> nice and neat and uh, even the look of the uh, plants are, are the reflection of the ferns they look and they pop out uh, look at the arch it is already painted up it is already popping out with color and the colors of the plants they look vibrant against the color of the arch and yeah uh, at some point when uh, <coughs> as the summer goes on I will be able to give you a good nice tour of the garden otherwise if you enjoyed this video please do remember to give us a thumbs up a like uh, leave a comment uh, you can always um, write and uh, give me suggestion of things that you may like or you may uh, want to see so um, I um, hope to see you in the next one uh, thank you very much for watching and bye